I am Erin Bradley. I'm a teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. This is a school in South Africa, Johannesburg. This lesson looks at the properties of shapes. We change the size and the amount of sides of each of the different shapes. We are using purple mash to do all of this. For the last two years, we have been using purple mash to improve our abilities to work with code. I hope that you enjoy watching this. So we're going to look at the attributes of the shapes. Triangle's got the attributes of having three sides. You'll get yours in the to-do section. But I'm just going to open it up and show you how to work through it. It's one of my favorite activities in Purple Mash, all about shapes. I'm going to very briefly just explain that we are changing various properties in of these shapes. They're just called shapes. Turn a triangle into a hexagon. A triangle has got three sides. On the click event, change the sides. You'll work out how to do that. The second one, we're going to increase the size. If you scale it up 100%, that means you're going to make it double the size. Here, we're going to scale up the shape. The third one, increase the number of sides on click. It's the property of sides. Triangle has got a property of three sides. A hexagon has got a property of six sides. A pentagon has got a property of five sides. You're going to make it change the color. That's another property of a shape. It could be different colors. When you click on the shape, you can make it change to a random color. Exciting, because you're talking about the computer making the decision of what color it should be. And then we got fix the buttons. Now this one I'll do. Clicking on the buttons, make the wrong type of shapes. Can you fix it? Clicking on the button makes the wrong type of shapes. Now we can see when clicking the first button, set triangle button. The name of this button is called the set triangle button. It says when you click on it, set to four. Now we know that a triangle does not have four sides. You're going to know that this is not right. It's got to be three. When clicking on pentagon, now you know pentagram has got five sides. So this is going to be five. I'm going to do it quickly. And then this set to square button, we all know that a square would be four. Please don't start now because I'm only describing this to you. Had I chosen random, a number of sides would be chosen by a button. So the computer. If you go to the first shape, it's got the color. This is the variable watch. Speed is zero. So we know we can move these. So if I click on triangle, look, it's a triangle. Go through all of those. Now when you've done this, it'll tell you that you've done everything. Now you make your own. This one is exciting. After one second, we can make one of the shapes move. But I don't see any shapes in this object that I can bring in here. So we know we've got to go look for design mode. Now here is design mode. Design mode. You drag in, bring in a button, and this button's going to start. I'm going to call it start. The start button. Start. And right in there, start. And it says your text. I'll also write start, movement, enter, look there's a button saying start movement. Now I'm going to bring in shapes, one, two, three, and let's go with four, but they're going to go crazy. These shapes must go crazy, so I'm going to make the first one blue, second one, leave it at red, third one, we'll just give it a different color so they all can be seen easily apart from each other. They all look different. And then I'll make the first one a triangle. Second one will make a square. So it says, look at the properties or attributes of this one is three. We'll make that four. So look, it's become a square. This one will make it five. So the sides will be five. That's going to be a pentagon. And then this blue triangle, triangle with three, a property of three sides, we're going to take that to six. And you guys know that's a hexagon. Now when we move these around, when I press on this button, all these objects are going to flow around the screen and they're going to change direction. I'll just make this one, the first one, the hexagon, it's going to have a speed of 4. This one will have a speed of 2. And this one will have a speed of 6. 
Then we'll make this one have a speed of seven. As soon as I press this, we'll get everything going. Exit design mode, and here we begin. After three seconds, everything's gonna start moving. I'm gonna bring in the button. When clicking on the button, I'm gonna go, after three seconds, everything starts going crazy. So the first one, I'm gonna make it color, and the random is gonna be the computer must choose the color. Shape three, we'll make that one also have a random color. That's four, three, let's get shape two. We'll make this one a random color. All of them will have random colors. One, this one we'll leave it with its color and we'll make it change direction. So the computer is gonna choose direction. Now directions in degrees. Our degrees is one to 360. 360 every three seconds it's going to change let's play it you'll see one of them after three seconds when i press on this watch we'll start every three seconds we'll start moving in a different way oh look at the this one is moving it's going in different directions every three seconds it changes direction it in degrees 360 degrees so stop that now we're going to make them change size shape four We'll make it size and let the computer choose. We'll even make it up to 50. So I can get really big. Shape three. We can make it also get bigger. We'll make that one to 10. Shape two. Size. And we could have said scale. And we'll make this one go one, two, 20. And we could record this. It'll be amazing as a piece of art. Press the button, start. Everything I go on this button over here, I'll take away the that. Look at it. Wow, one of them's so big. And it's going there, changing color. Um, I need to make more of them change direction. I want to make them change a lot more. I'm going to make them change sides. So shape one. Let's make it sides. The computer can choose random between one and ten. Let's make shape two sides. Computer can choose. It's going to be quite beautiful when you see how it, they all move around. Shape three. And we're going to go with sides. And we'll make this one also choose a random. And now we've got shape four. And then we're going to make them all move in different angles. Random. Computer makes the decision. And now let's go with the uh, shapes. Angle, computer chooses. And we're going to make it 360. Why 360? Because it's 360 degrees. It can choose in, go in any direction. Shape three. Let's bring that in. Angle. And we'll make this one 180. Random, one to 180. We can go forward. Let's have a look at how this changes our code. When I press on here, everything starts. Three seconds. Look, they're all moving in different directions. Kush, you're not even impressed. And look at that gray. This one's become gray. And they're all changing in sizes. And they're even changing in shape. Every three seconds is a new change. Well, I think one is so huge. But come up with some beautiful movements. Look at that. Oh, that, that is so amazing. Kush, what is, what is this color? What's that color? Very bright green. But don't forget to go through all the challenges before you record this one. Boys and girls, I hope you're going to enjoy doing this. Quite amazing. You can make beautiful pieces of artwork that are moving up and down. You can even add in a lot more shapes as well. Please do not rush through this. Play around, study it, and see the beauty of the code and what you're constructing. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you listening.